survival is all about preparation, and these 10 quick tips will get you playing as soon as the game drops on the 29th of March. There are a few different game settings that can be changed every time you load into your world. Online will make your game open for others to join, but you can set a password to restrict who can. Turn friendly fire on if you want a bit of extra danger from other players, and turn peaceful mode on if you want the creatures of the world to just ignore you. Well, unless you attack them, then it's your fault. Speak to the owl effigies for tips and tricks. Their eyes will be glowing if you've not heard their wisdom, and don't ignore NPCs outside of the burrows. Many of them will mark locations on your map and give you options to craft new armour. You will see lots of resources in the burrows and just outside. Grab them all. You will need wood and fibre for almost everything, and this area is packed with them. The Vanguard have made sure to give you some supplies by the way of some food, bandages and tools, but that won't be enough. Use tab to access your inventory, and hit craft at the top of your screen. You will want at least an axe and a builder's hammer. With your hammer equipped, you can now make a workbench and craft yourself more bandages and a sword. You will need it. Don't forget your workbench. It breaks down and no resources are lost. Make sure you chop down some mushrooms as you travel. They make for a tasty meal. However, they're even better cooked. Eating a cooked meal will stop you feeling hungry for longer, and eating till you are almost full will give you a healing buff. Manage your food to take advantage of these effects. Watch out for those carpenter ants. During the day, they're your biggest threat this close to the burrows. They quickly go down to a sword, though. The smaller worker ants won't really bother you, but they are protected by the warrior ants, who don't take kindly to your presence. Don't be fooled by a solitary one, they will always attack in threes. The owl statue is your best place to build your first shelter. Place it near the base for easy access, or up high if you like a view. Also, make sure it has a roof, as most structures don't last long when left exposed to the elements. Just avoid placing it in view of the grasshopper. When their nocturnal sibling comes out, they are less friendly. Make sure you get a bed down. This will not only act as your spawn point, but also as a way to sleep through the night. The friendly day creatures will change places with their nocturnal cousins, and they are not as friendly. When you log into your game, you will always return to your spawn point, and this can be an effective way to get home from a long trip. Head up the slope to the right of your grasshopper neighbour for your first encounter with a red bull ant, and while they don't have wings, they do have some powerful mandibles. Make sure to use your sword to take it down. With luck, you should now have a mandible from the loot, and thus will be able to craft a pickaxe and harvest stone. Lastly, keep an eye out on my channel for more guides on how to find resources safely and quickly. My next tutorial will be how to get yourself a new friend or two. See you soon, small landers!